Hey, what's up? This is James and Jeeva with Corgi SA, and today we are in the studio with the all new Chaosolator 2 and Mini Chaos Pad 2. We're going to dig in deep, see what the similarities and differences are between the two. So let's get right into it. Starting with the basics, the main difference between the KO2 and the Mini KP2, as we've nicknamed them, is the fact that the KO2 is a synthesizer and loop recorder. And the Mini KP2 is an effects processor with a built in MP3 and media player. Both use an XY pad as the main input source, but for very different reasons. On the KO2, you can use the pad to create melodies and rhythms, which are stackable on either of two recording banks. On the Mini KP, you can use the XY pad to control onboard effects, which can be applied to external audio sources, or audio from the onboard media player. Yep, it's the first Chaos Effects processor that does not require an external sound source to be, um, effective. No pun intended. As you can see, much like their predecessors, these next generation Chaosolator and Mini Chaos Pads share a common aesthetic. They also share a similar navigation method, which has been vastly improved over the originals. We switched out the three segment LED screens with big, high contrast OEL screens. The knob has also been replaced with a dedicated value ribbon, which can scroll quickly through all parameters. The ribbon also allows for one step increments in either direction. Furthermore, the ribbon is multi-zoned, and depending on which screen you're on, tapping in the middle, on the left, or on the right, provides access to different on-screen parameters. Both also feature a built-in microphone and an audio input. For output, both products offer a built-in speaker or an eighth-inch stereo output jack. On the KO2, the input and mic are used to capture external audio and make it part of your loops. On the Mini KP, the mic lets you affect audio on the fly and the input lets you connect whatever audio source you want to affect. Both can also run on batteries or power supply. KO2 features 150 diverse sounds arranged by category. There are lead synths, acoustic tones, Bases, corded sounds, sound effects. Playable drums, and drum patterns. change keys and scales on the fly and recording is as easy as holding one of the record buttons and layering your sounds in you can even add an arpeggiator and there are 50 rhythms to choose from
On Mini KP2, you could scroll through 100 effects derived from the entire Chaos Pad line, and even choose three favorites. Simply choose the desired effect, press the Effects button, and assign it to one of the three zones on the ribbon. Both products also feature a virtual crossfader. On the KO2, the crossfader lets you mix between the two record banks. On Mini KP2, the crossfader selects between onboard audio and the incoming audio. This is great when connecting the KO2 to the Mini KP2, or when connecting two Mini KP2s together, effectively creating an ultra portable DJ rig. Last but certainly not least, both products offer micro SD media storage up to 32 gigabytes. On KO2, this is used to save and recall your loops. On the Mini KP2, this is the place to store all of your MP3s or WAV files for playback. In addition, both devices allow you to record anything and everything you do in real time. This is great for capturing your creations, mixes, etc., and sharing them online or dropping them into your favorite DAW for incorporation to an existing track or as a starting point for a new song. For more information on these creative and inspiring tools, check out www.corg.com forward slash chaosolator2 or forward slash mini chaos pad 2. I'm James Sajiva with Korg USA and I'll see you in the studio again soon.